Double T, and this weekend kicks off uh, some fun for me. I enjoy it. I know a lot of people in town enjoy it. Mike Peck from the Rockford Ice Hogs. Ice Hogs hockey starts Saturday night. Double T, it's back. I can't believe it. It seems like it just ended. It, it does, even though it was a long off season. Uh, you know, the Ice Hogs last year didn't make the playoffs. Right. April 13th was the last game. So we've been, it's almost six months to the day, almost six months to the opener between the last game and the first home game. So, but now we're looking forward to it. You know, fresh start. Yeah. New coach, a lot of new players, a lot of new things going on at the arena. But Saturday night, 6 o'clock, new start time on Saturday nights this year. We're doing 6 o'clock kinda, on Saturdays. I kind of like that. I li- and is that only on Saturdays then? Just on Saturdays. A couple of trains of thought, one. People can get out, you know, around eight thirty, nine o'clock, and go enjoy some yeah. some libations around downtown. Right. Uh, if you got a family, uh-huh. you can stay the entire game now. I know a lot of families yeah, would take off after the, after, yeah. after the kids went and picked up chuck a bucks, and mm-hmm. you know, and it, it just kind of it, it lets you have a little bit longer of a Saturday night. So um, we're looking forward to that. We've had some great feedback on the early start time, and we'll see once it gets into action here this weekend. So that's one of the changes uh, for this season, and the home opener is uh, this Saturday night. What are some of the other things? Uh, uh, we should expect coming down to the, the arena this this Saturday. Well, uh, you remember watching games up on the video board up there yeah. and how it looked like it was about a, a 16-bit uh, Atari? Yeah. Ga- well, now we have HD up there. No way. So we have an HD uh, video We've feed up there. We've gone from Nintendo to Xbox. Yes, pretty much. Sweet. So we are, we are looking forward to that. that uh, that's going to be great for, for an enhancement to the entertainment in, in the game. So um, all of our video will be high definition. The video board, now it's kind of funny, the video board actually isn't HD. Okay, but it's going to look so good. You're uh-huh. not going to be able to tell the difference. Um, but so the uh, how will I look? Up on uh, the... You're going to look fantastic. I, I heard HD actually makes you look 15 pounds lighter. Nice. Instead of put on the was the 15 pounds or 20 pounds. Yes. Yeah. Well, so. I, I, I say it's 30, <laughs> but 30 I mean, <laughs> that's what I like to tell people. All right. So we've got we've got the, the new HD cameras. That's cool. Six o'clock starting time. What else is going on Saturday night? So we have uh, calendars for the first 4,000 fans. Okay. Uh, courtesy of our friends at Impact Networking. Yeah. You know, it's funny. We have a guy Dave Piccioni who works our security desk in the morning. Uh-huh. Our cal- and actually this year we made our calendar go through October for okay. the one that we're handing out this weekend. Nice. Years past it would run out September 30th. Mm-hmm. So for two and a half weeks, Dave Piccioni would bust our balls. <laughs> hey, where's the new calendars coming out? I don't know what day it is. It's like, hey, pick. It's, the new calendars are coming. Right. So you know, we'll, have, we'll have new calendars that'll have all of our game dates, all yeah. of our promotions in there uh, for the upcoming year. So um, those will be given away on Saturday. And then Sunday, um, we're going to do a touch of truck, weather permitting. Okay. Um, a little rain's not going to scare the, anyone away from that uh, outside, but we're going to have a bunch of uh, police cars, police vehicles, fire trucks, ambulances, a whole bunch of array of different vehicles out in Elm Street there. Please tell me they're going to have the big tank vehicle there. We're hoping so. They that had, thing is awesome! They had it all last year. That thing yeah. is unbelievable. I had no idea they had anything like that on the police force here. Not. Oh my god. That's, I want to drive it. Yeah, seriously. That, could you imagine just cruising around town in that thing? I know. Well, I know what I want to do. I want to go through a drive through <laughs> in that thing. They said, when I was talking to one of the officers about it, he said, imagine you being wanted. And that pulls up in front of your front door. Seriously, yeah. that would be unbelievable. That, that'll make you give up pretty quick. <laughs> All right. So that's that's Sunday. Sunday, four o'clock. We're playing Milwaukee. Touch a truck starts at two thirty. That goes from two thirty to four o'clock. Okay. Um, and uh, we're doing a first responders night. Uh, also on Sunday afternoon, so we're oh, gonna cool. honor a bunch of first responders, um, you know, from the area, and uh, and have them out at the game as well. So it should be a great opening weekend. The, the team actually started last Saturday in Cleveland. Mm-hmm. Nice four zero win to start the season. So the team is undefeated coming in. This yes, one and zero. There we we'll, go. We'll take it. We'll take it. But no, it's gonna be a fun team. I know we'll talk about that here in a little bit. But okay. uh, we're definitely looking forward to to getting things kicked off here at the Beamo this weekend. All right. So opening weekend this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Really quick, I want to talk about what some of the fun promotions you have going on this season. But the one thing I do want to talk about really quick is getting into the building. Because I think, you know, some people, they don't come down very often. Yep. So uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, getting, you know, we got to be secure. we got to make sure everyone's safe. Uh, just a few pointers if you're coming down to the game this weekend. Yeah, so uh, we've had the clear bag policy. This will be our second season with it. And now I see they have it at the United Center. There's mm-hmm. teams around the, the so American. The field does it. And actually, yeah, we were in clear Cleveland over the past weekend, and I went for a jog around uh, the Brown Stadium, and you can't even approach the perimeter of the Brown Stadium 
without a clear bag. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure it's like that around Soldier Field, yes, too. So, yep. um, you know, unfortunately, it's it's becoming the norm. But, yeah, I mean, you know, we have uh, purse sizes 8.5 by 11. Okay. Um, we have signs all around of what's, what you're allowed to bring in, what's what's restricted. I mean, obviously, if you have small children, you can still bring in diaper bags. Right. Um, we'll give you an exemption card uh, when you walk in the door. It's everything subject to search. But, unfortunately, we don't have metal detectors. Right. Um, they're just, it's just a, a, a huge cost. Um, so, to, in order to speed up the lines, we adopted this this clear bag policy last year and mm -hmm. uh, I know it's, it's not the most fun thing in the world but again our, our number one priority is keeping everybody as safe as possible and you know at the landscape right now w what's going on um, not only in our in our country but around the world it's it's sad that we're at this point but again we we want you to come to an, to a game or an event, whether it's a concert, an ice hogs game, a comedy show, whatever. And we, you know, we want you to get away from reality and and, and enjoy whatever event you're coming to. So, um, you know, it's uh, once everybody kind of figures this out, um, I, I, it's going to be a, a smooth process. Rockford Ice Hogs, Mike Peck is in the studio with me. So I thought I saw something about maybe a new entrance this this year. So if you are a BMO Harris Bank customer. I got, I got my, I I got my card right here. I there you go. All right you need here. to do Look, is right show your BMO Harris Bank debit card, and you can utilize the new BMO Harris Bank yes. entrance. It's off of uh, Main Street, uh -huh. uh, and obviously the, the bulk of the people come in off of Elm Street, so that line's going to be considerably shorter if right. you come in through the Main Street entrance. So um, we just kind of kicked it off during a preseason game a couple weeks ago, and things will get in full uh, swing here this weekend. So, yeah, we're looking forward to that, you know, kind of breaking up the line a little bit yeah. and a little perk for uh, BMO Hairs Bay customers <laughs> like yourself. <laughs> Easy for me to say. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about some of the things. Obviously, opening weekend is this weekend, but what are some of the things that stand out uh, promotion wise uh, and game wise this year. So we, we changed our marketing theme this year to Our Town, Our Team. And we're really I love that logo, by the way. It, the oh, yeah, it's, it's awesome. And we're, mm -hmm. we're really looking forward to highlighting different aspects of Rockford, the things that really make our community cool and unique. Because right. there are a lot of things that make this community cool and unique. I know a lot of people probably just roll their eyes, but it, it's reality. I, you know, you look around, there, there's a lot of things cool in this town. And we're going to highlight that. And one of my favorite things, and actually, we haven't even officially announced this yet. So oh, we're nice. new. Yes. So we announced that we're doing a Fred. Van Vliet bobblehead. Oh, sure. Well, we're actually going to do a bobblehead of all three local guys that are playing in, in Major League Sports right now. So we're doing Fred Van Vliet. Okay. Uh, I believe it's February the 17th. We're going to do Jake Smolinski okay. in early February, and we're going to do Dean Lowry. Uh, I think it's March 17th or 18th, whatever that, that Friday night is, in March. So we're going to honor those guys. We're hoping they're going to be able to make it out to the games. Right. Uh, but First Responders Night this, this Sunday, we talked about that last segment. Right. Just another example how we're going to try to highlight a lot of the good that's going on in this town. That's, because see, the only thing awesome. you hear is the crap, right? That's yeah. all you hear. You flip on the news, and, and, and it's all the negative stuff. Uh, but there's plenty of positive. That's awesome. I, you know, I always love coming out to the games and how supportive you guys are of the community. It's Double T, my special guest, Mike Peck from the Rockford Ice Hogs. Home opener is Saturday, home games Saturday and Sunday. So the team this year, we, we had a lot rough year last year. It happens. It happens, right? It was uh, it was the, the, the toughest season we've had in the American Hockey League. Actually, going back to 2003 or 2004, mm -hmm. we've had a, we had a pretty good stretch. That was the first year last year that we were under 500 right. since 2003 or 2004, just to kind of put in perspective how good we had it. And, uh, it was it was a weird year last year, but this year, you know, we got a new coach. Uh, you know, Ted Dent did, a, did a, a great job here. But you know, as everybody knows, in sports, sometimes you just need a fresh voice. And uh, yeah, it was tough seeing Teddy Teddy go, but Jeremy Calton is is in the mix now. He's the head coach, and um, he's really looking forward to bringing an up tempo style of hockey and um, a couple of different changes in philosophy and um, a lot of new players, a lot of young players on this team, especially up front and forward. So um, you know, it, uh, I know names. I'm not going to just toss names out because I, it, it's right. names that a lot of people aren't going to really. Right. You know, it's not going to resonate, but uh, there's a lot of young prospects that you're going to see here in Rockford this year. Draft picks of the Blackhawks. Yeah, a lot of draft signees. picks, a lot of guys. Uh, you know, I, in order to, I guess, contradict myself, I will throw out a name, Matthew Highmore. Um, uh, he was a kid that wasn't drafted, but the Hawks signed him last March to, as a free agent out of juniors. And 
He, uh, just one game sample size, so small sample size, but I know he had a good camp in Chicago. Uh, I mean, he's going to be fun to watch. He had a great game on Saturday in Cleveland. But just having some of these prospects that are starting mm -hmm. their pro career here, um, it, it's, it's exciting because uh, we saw it with you know Corey Crawford, Brian Bickle, Nicholas Chalmerson, Brandon Saad, Tavo Teravine, and I mean, the list goes on and on. All those guys came through Rockford, and a lot of those guys, you might, you, you might not have known their names when they right. first got here, but you know their names now. And this is kind of that next group of guys that are in here uh, that that, that are, are going to move up and, and be National Hockey League players. And there's a couple of guys that are coming back, right? Anastroza is, yep. is here. Yep, and Vinny uh, is back. Uh, defensively, we got a lot of guys on the defense that are back. Victor Svedberg, Vili Polka, Eric Gustafson. So those guys that have been here for the last couple of years, they're, they're back again. I mean, I would expect all those guys to be call-up guys, up-and-down guys as the season goes on. Um, you know, injuries happen. So, yeah, of uh, course. And, and I'm sure those guys are going to be some of the first to get recalled to Chicago and, and get their opportunity. But uh, there's a lot of exciting players to, to to watch on the team this year. Yeah, I mean, I think Chicago's going to be exciting. That means we're going to be exciting and guys going back and forth. And the guys you watch here today, they'll be in Chicago soon. Absolutely. And you know what? And, and to watch these guys before they get up to the next level at, at a fraction of the price, too, is always a, a key. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. And it's much easier to get to the BMO than it is to get to the United Center. Hey, huh? you, I mean, you can't match the experience of being at the United Center for a Blackhawks game. But, right. yeah, I mean, this is uh, it's awesome what we have here in Rockford. And, uh, you know, I definitely take advantage of it. If you've never been or if you haven't been for a while, I mean, come on out and check it out because it's uh, you'll, you'll be entertained. How many call-ups have we had to the NHL? Do you know the number off I the top of your head? I think all the time we have 93 different players that have been been recalled to the National Hockey League or, or have gone from Rockford to the NHL at some point. So we That's should, we should hopefully hit that 100, that 100 <laughs> plateau this year. So, But think about that. That's a lot of players that have started here in Rockford or have passed through Rockford and, and have gone on to, to the National Hockey League. And that's what it's all about. It's pretty exciting. This weekend, opening weekend, let's go over all the, the details once again. All right, the deets for the weekend. Saturday night, 6 o'clock, the Iowa Wild in town. The first 4,000 fans will get an Ice Hogs calendar um, for courtesy of our friends at Impact Networking. So doors open at 5. Okay. So 6 o'clock start time. Remember that because okay. uh, we've moved the start time up a little bit. Uh, one hour. Uh, then Saturday, or Sunday, excuse me, Milwaukee's in town, 4 o'clock start time. We're doing first responders night, and we have touch a truck beginning at 2.30 out on Elm Street, 2.30 to 4 o'clock. So, um, again, unless it's a torrential downpour, um, we'll, we'll be doing touch a truck. Uh, it's funny, we haven't had rain for, what, about a month and a half? Right. And now, all of a sudden, we got all this rain. But we need it, you know? So I, yeah. I hate water my lawn, by the way. So, it's, it's nice. I never do. I just let it die. Yeah. That's but kinda, I don't have to mow it. Yeah, right. Right. <laughs> But uh, tickets still available, icehogs.com, 815-968-5222 or ticketmaster.com.